Good day and welcome to today's construction class. So today we'll be using the object on the screen as displayed in isometric drawing. In isometric drawing, all right. So and we'll be applying the principle of isometric circle. Yeah, in most of the curves we'll be having here, the principle was isometric circle, all right. And the very first area I'm going to draw is the cylinder standing at the back. With that cylinder of diameter 56 and a height of 56. So how do I solve that? The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to produce uh, a thin horizontal line in this order, like this. All right. Then I'm going to produce a vertical line to it, like this. All right. So I'm going to produce my isometric plane using my 30 by 60 degree set square. So this area is the 30 degree, while this area is 60 degree. So I'm using the 30 degree area, which is this. And I'm drawing it like this. Right and like this. All right, so the diameter of this is diameter 56 diameter 56 so i'm going to pick my ruler okay picking my ruler from this area 56 i'm measuring 56 from the junction here mark of 56 right here like this okay height of 56 also and that is going to be like this okay then towards this axis also length of 56 all right which is like this okay having those spots i'm going to actually uh join them all together like this so i'm going to try and create something like uh a cool void okay so this comes up faintly okay everything i'm drawing here should be drawn with your thin thin line thin continuous line okay thin continuous line take note so this like this so this is my mark of 56 from here to here so i'm going to project it isometrically like this and like this all right then like this and like this All right so that is it all right that is it so the very first thing is let me develop the circle at the top right here okay and to do that the very first thing is i'm going to locate the midpoint here so 56 the midpoint is going to be what 28 all right 28 and here is 28 right here that's 28 right here then on this axis also i'm going to pick my mark of 28 right here also okay 28 and that is this also having that in that order i'm going to draw them using my symmetric axis with my set square okay to this mark of 28 right here i what i draw faintly all right i draw faintly then right here also i what i draw faintly okay can you see that so then the next thing is i'm going to pick my ruler i'm going to join the longest diagonal principle of isometric curve all right i'm joining the longest diagonal and that is this faintly do you see that then from this junction towards this area like this i'm going to draw this like this then i'm going to join this junction here towards this area like this all right having it in this order i'm going to pick my compass So picking my compass, I'm going to stand right at this junction here, first of all, extending it all the way to this area here, then I'm going to what? Draw. I'm going to make it bold once and for all. Sorry for the noise, my area is closer to the airport, so the noise of plane might actually interfere with the audio, so I'm very, very sorry for that. Okay. So then right here from this junction like this to this area right here. okay must get it right yeah like that and right here 
Okay, right here. All right, that's also set to. <coughs> Sorry, that's set to also. That's also set to. So the next procedure is this. The next procedure is this. I'm going to create uh, another cylindrical part on the inside here. Okay, yeah, we have it, and that one is diameter. What's diameter? Thirty-two. Diameter thirty-two. The radius is going to be what? It's going to be radius sixteen. So I'm going to pick my compass. I'm going to measure sixteen with my with my compass. So this is mark of sixteen on my compass. I'm going to stand at the midpoint right here. Take note of what I'm doing, please. I'm going to mark an arc here one, here two, here three, and right here four. So my points are one, two, three, four, which I mark with my compass. Then I'm going to pick my thirty degree set square, sliding this yeah to this area here at thirty degrees. Okay. At 30 degrees to this area here i'm having this make it faint please i'm only making it visible like this so that you can actually see it very well all right let me actually zoom it out so that you can see what i'm doing oh, sorry okay i think it's better like this yeah so then i'm going to Reject this also, this point here isometrically like that. Then this junction here, this area here, okay. I'm going to project it also like this, and this area like this. All right, so you see, we are having another what another square on the inside. So I'm going to pick from this midpoint down here like this faintly, and from this area down here like this faintly. All right, so during that, I'm going to pick my compass. With my compass, I'm standing right here, all right, extending it all the way to this area here, and what I draw. I draw okay to the opposite side right here and I'm going to replicate the same thing I what I draw okay so take note of that so right from this junction here take note at this area here you see that coming down here like this I what uh, okay to get it right okay yeah i think it's oh sorry that's an error please and that's going to be like this okay now it remains this area here I'm going to stand right here like this and Uh, yeah draw it like this that is it right there okay now we are told that we are having a slot right here so from the midpoint here a slot here at a distance of 6 so from this midpoint I am measuring mark of 3 towards the left and what and right mark of 3 towards the left and right from that slot okay I am having 3 right here and Theory right here so i've marked out this point so picking my set square like this okay sliding it that first point of three i'm drawing faintly one then what faintly two then i'm going to project this vertically now i'm going to make this bold straight away okay i'm going to make this bold now like this Oh, this thing is sleeping on that, sorry. Like this and like this and also like this, then I can now what make this like this boldly and boldly. So I'm going to erase some part. This is out of it and this is out of it so you can see okay let me just thicken it
and this okay so that is that area at the top right there all right so coming all the way uh, to the bottom here all right so i'm going to join this like this faintly faintly take note faintly like that and this from this junction like this faintly do you see that all right oh that's an error for my part so from this area past 30 degrees or so faintly all right i'm going to join the longest diagonal which is here to here like this all right so after joining that longest diagonal i'm going to actually uh, transfer these midpoints to the bottom so uh, this area here It's just going to be even like this. Okay, this area here to the bottom, settled, and this area here okay to the bottom, settled. Okay, having it right there, I can erase this slightly like this so that it won't cause a confusion. And even this, all right. So, I'm going to transfer this now from here isometrically, like this. You see that? And this also from this axis, isometrically, like this. Did you see that also? Alright, so doing that, I'm going to pick my ruler from this junction all the way here faintly. And from that junction right there, all the way here, faintly. So I'm going to pick my compass. Picking my compass, I'm going to sit right here. Sitting right here, I'm going to what? I'm going to draw like this. This. So then standing right here, standing right here, I'm going to do like this. Okay, and what? Draw this like this. I'm going to end it right here, then pick my pencil from this midpoint to this midpoint right here. i'm going to what i'm going to join it boldly boldly like this okay i'm having that right there like that so that area is what is settled it is settled like that okay so now uh the next step is this so i need to actually get this parts this part so remember the 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 the, the, the nda the distance at the end here is 48 is 48 millimeters 48 millimeters so take note of that all right and this is what i'm actually going to do right there let me actually erase this so that we don't get confused okay i'm going to erase that so okay so that you don't get confused let me erase things i'm going to use here so i don't get confused all right so let me just project this i think i'm going to need this line slightly yeah i'm going to need that okay so I'm going to pick a height of okay so what i'm going to use is i'm going to pick a height of 24 first of all a height of 24 okay let me do that with my compass height of 24 so with my compass right with my compass okay with the height of with my compass i pick height of 24 which is this that's the height of 24 so it mark 24 from this from this base right here i mark this right here okay i mark right here and what i mark it right here also take note i mark from here to year 24 from here to year 24 from here to year 24 so distance from here all the way down here is what is 48 right now take note of that that is 48 all right then the next thing i'm going to project each of those points all right so starting from this area first of all like this like this faintly like that take note all right then from this area here i draw it to it faintly so i have my junction right here i have another junction here take note all right so 
this like this so i have a junction here and another junction here take note of that so i'm going to actually extend this very line here yeah i need it a lot so i'm going to make it tall like this yeah do i need this to be tall right here no i don't need it to be tall here i think that's going to be towards the end so it's okay for me right here it's okay for me right here now take note of this let me erase this area so that you don't get confused let me erase them for you so that you don't get confused okay i don't want you to get confused so just follow me and see what i'm doing okay oh this mark so this mark is 48 height here to here is what is 24 take note take note all right so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to form a square this to this is a length a side of my square that is side of my square so let me get the three other sides so with my set square right here i want i project from here like this faintly you see that then at that junction right here also i project from here also like this faintly so from this mark here faintly from this mark here faintly and at a distance of what 48 so with my ruler 48 this is 48 from here and where does my 48 ends my 48 ends right here that's my 48 right here then i'm going to pick my set square and what's draw towards this direction like this faintly so i'm having junction one junction two junction three and junction four so take note of those junction okay so what i'm going to do now okay let's erase all of this so that i don't get confused all right so i don't get confused so this line is actually here like this and these are midpoint so i'm going to drive that midpoint in like this first of all okay so and i think this should still be 24 let me check yeah with my 24 right here i mark here then i'm with 24 right here i mark here also and with that i can actually have this like this so see that so next thing is i'm going to join my longest diagonal which is here to here like this faintly like this you see that and i'm going to join this area all the way down here like this and right junction here all the way down here like this take note so then the next thing is i'm going to pick my compass okay with my compass now i'm going to stand right at this junction here and i'm going to extend my compass to this area like this and draw okay, i'm going to make it bold once and for all then standing at this junction here take note standing at this junction here with my compass right here i what i draw i draw like this also take note i draw it like that okay so next for me is to develop this area here and how do i do that i'm going to pick my set square i'm going to project this area here all the way down okay like this okay you see that okay let me take this off so that i don't get confused all right so this actually has to do with plenty line works and you must not get confused that's just it okay and it's actually easy you can just put your mind to whatever you are doing okay this right here like this okay then this edge here also like this okay do you see that do you see that now i told that the distance from the middle of this object to the edge is what is 90. yeah we are told that it is 90. so from this midpoint here yeah from the midpoint here this area here okay all the way down here 90 and this is my mark 90 that's my mark 90 so with that mark 90 got in i'm going to project this like this in this 
Wait. Do you see that? Okay. So I think I can take the whole of this off. Yeah. So this is all I need. Right here. That's all I need right here. Okay. So then I'm going to bring this down vertically like this faintly. Faintly. But let me string it up. I will need it somewhere upwards like this. And likewise here also. I will need it upwards like this also. Don't worry, you will get to know. So this junction here. This junction here. Okay. I'm going to draw like this. Faintly. Like that. Do you see that? So then I think we don't need this. We don't need this right here also. Yeah, all we need here is the whole of this to this check. Alright. And yeah, the whole of this. Like that. Okay. Yeah, that's all we need. And the whole of this. Like that. Okay. Take note. Okay. Take note of those points. And I'm going to draw this like this. Like this. And like this. And like this. Right. So now all that is left for me to do is to form the internal part right there okay so that's what is left for me to do so and journey with me please journey with me okay it's actually interesting it's gonna be interesting it's going to be very very interesting okay now we are told that the diameter of the semicircle here is 32 that will be radius of what radius of 16 radius of 16 okay the very first thing is let me produce this also like this Yeah, okay. I have this here. Not forgetting, I have this here. Okay, so take this off a little. So, radius of 16, diameter 32, radius of 16. So, I'm going to pick my compass and measure 16. This 16 right here on my compass. So this 16 right here on my compass. So, 16 at the midpoint here, the junction here, I mark 1, 2, three and what and four having it in that order do you see that i'm going to pick my set square at 30 degrees like this i draw faintly take notes to the top at 30 degrees i draw faintly take notes you see i have this and this so then vertically i have this like this Faintly, and I have this like this. Faintly, did you see that? So I'm going to join this from here to the back like that. Do you see that? So then from here, okay. I'm going to make it from here. Faintly like this, and from here. Faintly like this, okay. So next is pick my compass. Picking my compass, I'm going to stand right here, okay. Extend it right all the way to this area here, and what? Make it bold. Make it bold once and for all. Make it bold. Make it bold. Make it bold. Make it bold. Like that, okay. Then stand at this junction right here, like this, and what? Oh, this compass. Sorry. Yeah, I think I should be able to use one of my small compasses. So sitting right here like this. Going to
going to draw this and you just look for the appropriate compass to use sorry for the delay yeah like this so you can see it that is it that is it right there then i'm going to have this like this bolt and like this bolt also take note of that right take note of that okay after getting that the distance inwards is what is 40 40 so from this edge here okay from this edge here i pick a mark of 40 which is this that's the mark of 40 so i'm going to project that horizontally but before that let me erase all of this that i don't actually need here okay yeah all of that so year to year is what is 40 so i'm going to project this like this faintly do you see that and don't forget this center line flows all the way all the way okay to the back like this take note so this line here touches this line right here okay i'm going to project a vertical line at that junction okay like this like this and what draw faintly like that you see that so i'm going to pick my compass and measure radius 16 also with radius 16 on my compass which is this okay with radius 16 on my compass i stand at this junction i mark bottom top left and what and right bottom top left and right so repeat uh, repeating the same thing i did here with my set square at 30 degrees okay i want i draw this like this faintly to the top here yeah. i draw this like this faintly okay then right here vertically like this then right here vertically like this right so i join the longest diagonal is from here to here like this faintly right so I join this to this like this then i join this to this like this so then i pick my compass i pick my compass i stand right at this junction I extend my compass to this area like this then i what then i draw i draw i make it bold i make it bold i make it bold so drawing that yeah i'm going to join this junction here to this junction here like this boldly like this boldly yeah and likewise this area here to this area here boldly right then i'm going to join this to this boldly like this all right and i'm going to join this vertically like this with my set screw it's going to be vertical like this all right vertically like that and i think that is the end of our drawing okay yeah that is the reproduction of the object on the screen in full isometric drawing in full isometric drawing okay so my name remains Oluwa Tumbi blessing or Lalekon, the founder of michael tech kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you